Let's look at this. You have 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and it goes on till 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 up to n. You have to find the sum of this series. If you notice, the first term is 1, which you can call first triangular number because the second term is sum of first two natural numbers, which is your second triangular number. And your third term is third triangular number, that is 1 plus 2 plus 3. And your fourth term is fourth triangular number, that is sum of first four natural numbers. In the same way, your nth term is nth triangular number, that is sum of first n natural numbers. And what is sum of first n natural numbers? That is nothing but n into n plus 1 by 2. Now, in this problem, you have to add all the triangular numbers right from 1 to the nth triangular number. So, we'll break this thing into first four triangular numbers. We are going to visualize that 1 as our first triangular number, 1 plus 2 as our second triangular number, 1 plus 2 plus 3 as our third triangular number, and 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 as our fourth triangular number. Now, what happens when I'm going to add these four triangular numbers together? So, I'm going to consider the first guy something like this. Now, the first guy is 1 and the second guy is a triangular plane. So, what I want you to imagine that 1 as one of the apex point which is being connected to these three vertices of this triangle something like this. And you notice you got a solid structure, a structure of pyramid or a triangular pyramid. I want you to add the third layer, something like this. You just extend it and it aligns very well. So you can say that, okay, these three triangular numbers are building a solid triangular pyramid or a tetrahedral structure. And in the same way, the fourth layer is helping us to build the tetrahedral structure further. So can we call them tetrahedral numbers. So we are going to call 1 as our first tetrahedral number and the sum of first two triangle numbers would be called our second tetrahedral number. In the same fashion, the sum of first three triangle numbers would be called our third tetrahedral number. And in the same way, the sum of first four triangle numbers would be called as our fourth tetrahedral number. Now let me give you some glimpse that how these tetrahedral structures look like. Let's say you have these marbles. White marble is kept at the top. Then you have three pink marbles. Then you have six, six yellow marbles. Then you have blue marbles, 10 blue marbles. And then you have 15 green marbles. So 1, 3, 6, 10, 15. These are nothing but your first five triangular numbers and they are they have structured themselves into some sort of a triangular pyramid which you call tetrahedral. Let me give you the 3D view. You see you have three lateral faces. All the three lateral faces are triangular in nature and the bottom surface is also a triangular. So you can say it is a triangular pyramid or a tetrahedral structure. Let me bring you the fourth tetrahedral again. Now you have this fourth tetrahedral number. It is a little difficult to imagine every time the solids, especially the tetrahedral solid. So what I want you to do, I want you to represent each of the numbers of this tetrahedral by the square, something like this. I'm going to represent my apex point by this white square. I'm going to represent my second layer, that is one plus two by this one white plus two blue squares. And I'm going to represent my third layer by this one white, two blue, and three green squares. And the same way, my fourth layer would be one white, two blue, three green, and four red squares. So what I can see that one plus three plus six plus 10, that is the sum of first four triangle number is very much equivalent to the fourth tetrahedral number. So I can uh, remove it for a time being. So I can say this is structure which you have one plus three plus four plus 6 plus 10 is nothing but the sum of first four triangular numbers, which is your fourth tetrahedral number. I want you to make three copies of it, something like this. Now the second copy, the middle copy, I want you to rotate it, something like this, right? Now I want you to align the first two guys, something like this. You got an oblong structure of 1 by 1 plus 1. Then you got another oblong structure of 2 by 2 plus 1. Then you got another oblong structure of 3 by 3 plus 1 and you got another oblong structure of 4 by 4 plus 1. So basically you have the first four oblong numbers ready with you just by adding the two copies of your fourth tetrahedral number. Now I want you to pile them together something like this, then this, 
than this. You would notice that you have got a rectangular shape or rather an incomplete rectangle and one of the dimension you can see is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 which is the sum of first four natural numbers which is your fourth triangular number. Now still we have this incomplete rectangle and one copy still left with us of the fourth tetrahedral number. So I want you to align this white square somewhere here and this one white and two blue square somewhere here and this one white, two blue and three green somewhere here. So your rectangle is complete but still you are left with 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 squares. At the same time you know the length of the rectangle which you got is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. So we can actually align this together by adding one more column to it. So you can say the dimension becomes one more added to the breadth. Now you can see one dimension is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 that is the sum of first four natural numbers which is your fourth triangular number that is 4 into 4 plus 1 by 2 and your breadth is 4 plus 1 plus 1 that is 4 plus 2. Now if you notice that the three copies of fourth tetrahedral number have been used to develop this rectangle and the dimension is 4 into 4 plus 1 by 2 multiplied with 4 plus 2. So you can say that three copies of this fourth tetrahedral number is 4 into 4 plus 1 into 4 plus 2 by 2. So you can also say the one copy of the tetrahedral number because that is nothing but one third of the structure which you can see that 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 which is equivalent to this tetrahedral structure is nothing but 4 into 4 plus 1 into 4 plus 2 by 6 because three copies were making this the rectangle of 4 into 4 plus 1 into 4 plus 2 by 2 so we had to divide by 3 so we can say the fourth tetrahedral number is 4 into 4 plus 1 into 4 plus 2 by 6. In the same fashion let's say I have to understand that I am going to develop the nth tetrahedral number so I am going to add the first n triangular numbers so here 4 can be replaced by n so you can say the nth uh, tetrahedral number is going to be n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 by 6. So that is nothing but the sum of first n triangular numbers.